I have been following Spark Hunt's development for a long time and yesterday finally the demo was released on Steam, the link is in the description. The game is being created by a single Ukrainian developer and this is the first beaten up to use the Unreal Engine 5. The game looks promising enough but there are a few things that, in my humble opinion, could be improved a little bit and I will discuss everything right here. But before all that, hi, I am Savino and welcome to the Flying Kick channel. Spark Hunt is a game that undoubtedly is above the standard when it comes to animation. The developer worked on small games like World of Warcraft, Overwatch and Fortnite. I believe you heard about one of these at least. And all this experience surely paid off. The animation in this game is outstanding with moves that have a fluidity usually reserved for fighting games. Your punches, flying kicks, the way your grab connects to the enemy, everything here was made with a precision that is simply outstanding, especially when you think that this is being made by one guy in a country that is suffering from a war. And the scare with the animation does not end on your characters. The enemies here are also very well animated, which honestly is a brief of fresh air in a market filled with 2D beaten ups. We had some great beaten ups using 3D models in the past, but nothing that comes close to what is on display here. Graphically, the game looks good, but being a real 5 game, I was expecting a little more fancy spread around the scenery. The models are impeccable, with lots of details on each and every one of them, from the characters to the enemies, but the background feels a little bland if you ask me. I mean, I know the game is dark and the story does not allow for bright and colorful scenarios areas, but being an engine that has such cool lighting, I missed some of them here. You can see in some parts of the backgrounds the use of neon and it looks awesome, so I think the game could use a little more of these engine resources to make the game look even better. Don't take me wrong, I'm not saying the game looks bad, not at all, but the background isn't rich as it could probably be. Sure, there are some cool effects here, especially on the quote-unquote invisible wall that makes the arena where you're fighting, but other than that, I don't see anything very eye-catching here. Yeah, my PC is almost melting running this game and I'm asking for more. See, that's how you know I think of you guys. I want more shiny for you because I definitely won't be able to run this one if the dev improves the visuals. But yeah, while the graphics never made a bit and up better, since we're talking about Unreal 5, I would love to see some next-gen effects around here. Who knows, maybe the first bit and up to ever use ray tracing? Wait, why my PC is leaving the house? Come back here! Okay, now that I took my PC back and chained it on the floor, let's talk about the combat. In Spark Hunt, your character has a pretty effective arsenal of moves, and I dare to say that your moves are way too effective. Here you have your punch, your jump, your desperation move, a dodge, and a special. I can hear some of you asking, but Savino, isn't desperation move and special the same thing? Uh, yeah and no. Desperation moves, at least in my view, use your health to perform the special move while, while pure special moves use a separate bar or an item like the star in Streets of Rage 4. But let's save these definitions for another time and let's focus on the game. As you can see on your screen, there's a lot you can do with the few moves at your disposal. Here you'll be able to juggle your enemies at will, grabbing them while they're bouncing on the floor or walls. It is absurdly fun and useful to do that, not only because because we all love to punish our enemies, but because this is an amazing crowd control feature. Your attacks are also very satisfying and you can add some variety to your combos, pushing up on your directional to change how it will behave. This is something that I love to see in beat ups, being able to choose how to finish your combos and picking them according to the situation is something that more games should add because this brings variety and, more importantly, freedom of choice for the player to adapt in every situation. And this works for your aerial attacks too, you can have your traditional flying kick here, or if you press down while in the air, you can punch your enemy's head to stun them and finish them when you land. 
and all of these feels pretty satisfying when you're playing it. The moves connect perfectly and the feeling when you hit your enemies couldn't be more satisfying. Grabbing an enemy by the foot and throwing them around like they were a rag doll is something that never gets old. Now let's go back to the desperation special thing. Here you can use your desperation move anytime you want as long as you have enough life. As was the case with beaten ups of old, you will lose a bit of health when using it, but you can recover what you lost by hitting other enemies with your regular attack. A formula that was first created by Streets of Rage 4, if I'm not mistaken, and I think it works pretty well. Honestly, I like the system more than I like the now more common self-refilling bar, which honestly removes all the risk and strategy from these games. Yeah, this is another subject to talk about in the future, but sure. Here you also have your special bar that can only be used when completely full that will unleash a very powerful attack that will hit everyone on the screen. This bar is refilled by your attacks and it's not as fast as we are used to seeing nowadays, so use it with care. The demo also lets you play with two characters, Marcus and Rose. They are, as you may expect, different from each other despite having the same inputs. Marcus is stronger with a higher reach while Rose is faster and has some cool aerial attacks. I imagine that playing with two people will be very fun since both characters seem to complement each other very well. Unfortunately, the demo is single player only. Now, while everything seems great so far, the game has a small problem. It's way too easy. Actually, it is disappointingly easy. You see, your character is very well equipped and while you don't have a plethora of moves at your disposal, what you have here is way too much for your enemies to deal with. You are faster than any of them, be able to spawn your dodge with ease, blinking from one side to the other, leaving your enemy hopelessly punching the air. Also, your grab is extremely overpowered. You can simply press a button and grab anyone you want. Sure, the big guys can be a little tricky to grab and even after being grabbed they can release themselves if you keep staring at their face instead of punching them. But in any case, they are also not a problem. Again, you can simply spam your dodge and in the blink of an eye you are behind and ready to punish them for not being as fast as you are. The enemies here are not prepared to face you, even the mini boss and the final boss of the level. As I said, you are too fast and also too strong and too resilient. You need a ton of punishment to lose a life and there are plenty for you to waste, at least in this demo. So far we have three types of enemies, a regular guy who will only punch you without much conviction, a dude who slides to knock you down and two different big guys who behave basically the same. So. I'm counting them as one. The big guys, which could be the scarier of them all, take years telegraphing their attacks, so you have plenty of time to dodge and take them from behind and finish them. The regular enemies, as I said, all you need to do is grab them by the neck, throw them around with ease and finish as many as you can with your punches. In my opinion, enemies could be more unpredictable dodging your attacks and even escaping from your grab if they have enough health. As it is, the game can be easily exploited thanks to your overpowered moves. Is the game fun? For sure it is very very fun. I can see a lot of potential in this one and I can't wait to check the full version, but these details must be sorted out because, as it is, there's no challenge whatsoever in this one. The demo is available right now on Steam, I will put the link in the description and if you want to learn more about the game I have an interview with the developer posted on my site, the link will also be in the description. And that's it for the video guys, I hope you all enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help me out and if you want to there's a membership option here where you can get some videos earlier without ads and even ask for reviews. I would like to thank those who already joined. You you are the life and blood of this channel. Other than that, I hope you all have an awesome day and remember, keep it up.